Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, I'm, uh, I'm Sophia Pacific Reich from IncreaseSocialReach.com and today is day one of our workshop Master Your Media Marathon. So today I'm, we're going to talk about goals because it's Monday and on Monday we always set up the goals for the next day. But before I start, let me just um, share this live onto the event page and my group. So just bear with me for a moment. <coughs> my voice is going. So what we're going to talk about today is um, how planning your goals can be sexy. S-E-X-Y. And I'll explain that in a minute. Let me just find myself, my life. Yes, I found it. Okay, let me just share. <clears throat> share with the group and the event. And share with the group. Okay, just burn me for a minute. Hi, Sanai, how you doing? Day one. Okay, so, um, so planning your goals can be sexy. What do I mean by this? Um, right, I call them um, sexy, sexy goals because, uh, smart sexy goals, um, because we all know that w when we're setting up goals, they have to be smart, okay? They have to um, be specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and timely, okay? But um, not only um, it needs to be smart, but I've put a little bit of a twist to it and I made them sexy as well. So I'm going to explain what's this concept of sexy goals um, in just a minute. Um, because when you like when you're planning your goals for the for the week and I'm going to give you a task for today um, for later on to do and um, you will receive this by email as well. Um, what's one goal, what's one goal, I want you to think about one goal that you have for this week um, and you're going to break it down as well. So, sexy goals, okay? So what, we all know what smart, um, smart goals are and um, the way I do my goals is I document my goals um, in um, a spreadsheet and I'll break them down, I'll break them down in smart goals so a specific, like I said, you know, ask the six whys, who, what, when, where, which and why. And then do it, uh, have it measurable as well. So how much, how many and how I know it has been, I has been achieved. Um, so attainable or achievable, you set your goals that you can build capacity for and actually reach. So you can actually be in love with your goals uh, and you can do them. Uh, realistic, you know, it needs to represent an objective towards which you are uh, both willing and able to work to, okay? Ask your why, is it aligned with your values, okay? And finally, timely. So let's set a time frame. So this is the SMART goals. And a lot of people, um, feel very constrained with SMART goals because it's just like so boring. So, <laughs> now I want you to make those goals sexy, okay? And um, the first um, thing is of sexy is S stands for scream, okay? Scream, shout about your goals because when you do that, and I've shouted about one of my goals um, today, actually, in my group, which is um, one, of the one of the goals that I have is 
um, you know, in the future, in the, my target today and time scale, that I will be uh, working my business from my home country um, and, you know, basically living a better quality of life. Um, so what I've done is, you know, in my action planner, I have all the steps that are going to put me in a position that I can one day work from my country, Portugal, and run my business, business from there. So I screamed about it. I screamed about it. Um, when you keep it to yourself, um, it just doesn't, for, at least for me, when I keep it to myself, it doesn't feel real. Um, by screaming about it, other people will, you know, will come through and um, support you, um, inspire you to do more, um, give you some suggestions on how to do it, how to achieve it. And that is the, um, the main thing with the scream, um, with the S of my sexy goals. Now, E, E stands for Excel, okay? When you um, surpass others in your area, um, but most importantly, surpass yourself in ability to reach that goal. Um, you know, you have to make your goals challenging. For me, um, this goal that I have to go and work uh, in my home country, it's challenging. And I'm, you know, because um, I have to look at where I'm going to live, um, uh, how, you know, I have to put a team in place. Uh, I have to look at so many accounts I'm going to need um, to uh, be able to work from there and have my business be, my business be uh, sustainable uh, from a different country. Um, so, yeah, so make your goals challenging. Excel yourself. Now, um, X is for X-ray. And what I mean by that is basically X-raying the smart goals. You know, you, you need to drill them down, dig deep in each goal. Um, so then later on you have ammunition to say, okay, this, this is what's worked. This is not, didn't work so well. So what can I do to kind of change it, to make it work better? Um... So dig deep, so not just on the smart goals, right? But also in your sexy goals, you just, you need to really dig deep. Um, and the last one from my uh, sexy goals um, concept is the why. And what does the why stand for? And this is the secret sauce, right? And I, I know that a lot of people say, oh, there's no secret sauce. Yeah, there's no magic pill on how you do certain things and um, what's good for you is not good for another person. But there is a secret sauce in mastering your media, right? And that's what the you stand for, which is you. <laughs> you. You are the secret sauce. You are the one that is going to be able to make it happen, you know, um, if I don't do anything to achieve my goal and work, um, you know, from my home country in five years' time, it's not going to happen. If I don't show myself out there and tell people what I'm all about and what I've got to offer, it's not going to happen. So the you is, um, is exactly that. It's you. You are the secret source in your business, okay? <laughs> yes, you. You are the secret source in your business. I just wanted to quickly turn my camera around because if I show you like this, it's all going to be, you know, upside down. So what you do, you just, I turn my camera around and I'm going to show you... Um, spreadsheet this spreadsheet um this spreadsheet this document is part of my concept of planning my goals okay um and that's where i um declare my uh big income goal as well and that's how 
I inspire and empower my uh, Master Your Media members to, to, to declare their goals as well. Now, um, is there any questions whatsoever? If there, I've got some viewers online, so if there's any questions whatsoever, please, please put them in the comments and I can answer them here now or um, I can answer them later on, okay? So for the ones that have um, registered for this workshop, you're gonna receive an email with this recording, okay? I want you to now come to my group, The Coach Social Media Lounge, and declare your goal, declare your goal for the week, okay? And let's support each other on your goal for the week. Just one goal. Um, it doesn't mean that you don't have any more goals, but just, you know, for, for this week, just one goal. And uh, let's support each other. And on Friday of this week, we're gonna ask you, um, how did it go? And also throughout the week, we're gonna encourage you to keep on going with your goal. Even if it's like a challenge that you've got going on, if it's your goal is, uh, uh, launching a program that you have at the moment, a better program, a beta program, <laughs> um, anything at all your goal is. It, it could be that you want to achieve um, five strategy goals for this week, for example. So my goal for this week is to, um, to give you live this workshop and to make you all accountable. Um, so please, please come to the group the Coach Social Media Lounge, just, um, you'll find it, just do a search or you'll register so you can receive an email with your task for today and also uh, a link to the Action Planner, which is my freebie to you today. Um, come and download it. This is the, a document that I use for the, the whole year where I look at um, my goals for the year and I also um, look at how those goals um, did um, every quarter. So I'm always tracking how everything um, goes. Okay, so if I don't have any questions whatsoever, I will, um, you know, please let me know later on if you remember anything about what I've just talked about. And let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow for um, day two of the Master Your Media Marathon workshop. Okay, lovely to see you all here. I'll speak to you very, very soon.